Good morning, traders. So the question is, has the Santa rally been canceled? I'm going to show you exactly how to determine if the bulls or bears are in control heading into this morning. You're going to have a much better understanding on the key make it or break it levels and whether you should be buying puts or calls at those specific levels. Let's break it down step by step. So based off the chart and based off the history, I'm already leaning towards super bearish for the SPY today. And the main thing that I really want you to understand, so this is going to be more of a potential support level today, but it's a very good and strong confirmation. If you see the SPY go green to red and turn this previous closing price into a resistance level, right? So it goes under, bounce back up, starts forming lower highs resistance towards this previous closing price for the green to red move. It is super bearish and it's going to have a very, very nice red day and it's going to have a very high profitability of, you know, closing week towards the lows. Obviously, if you take that trade, you don't want to just blindly hold it till close. You want to scale out at the key profit targets based off of every technical factor that I'm currently seeing. I am leaning towards super bearish for the day. So I'm going to break down the bearish theory, the ideal entries, which I just addressed in terms of confirmation. We're also going to go over a key entry in terms of, well, if it stays green, where should you be focused on buying at a higher resistance level? I'm also going to break down the bull theory. So in terms of the bear, th in terms of the bear theory, um, basically in terms of the pattern and in terms of trend recognition, I've identified some bearish patterns throughout the daily chart where it's going to trigger and occur and happen if the SPY goes green to red and maintains below that previous closing price of $380.72. So let's break down the chart. We're going to go over bullish and bearish price action analysis. So this is a key level. We're going to call it $381 to $380.72. That's a key zone, which is make or break for the SPY today. You can see right here, this 380 level to like 381 this is a very key zone. This is where the SPY ended up having a massive move to the upside, right? So you can see the SPY started to bottom out at $380. It had a massive move to the upside. Well, once the SPY cracked that support, it had a massive move to the downside. And what do I tell you guys all the time? When you see the SPY have a massive pullback from that key support level, which is right around this 380 level, once it cracks and reacts as a resistance level and pops back up, you're going to want to attempt to short the first retest, right? So in terms of what we can potentially be seeing right now, we can be simply seeing a play where previous support right here reacts as a resistance level, which is also at the previous closing price. So like I said, the confirmation for that opportunity is a green to red move. If it goes red on the day, forms lower highs, forms resistance levels, you're going to want to play puts. And then this is what I want you to understand. In terms of profit taking, you're going to want to look to aim towards this 378 level. This is a very key level. This $378 level is make or break. If the SPY goes under 378, then we start to see a rapid sell-off to go back down to fill that gap, which has not been filled yet. We still have not filled this gap. There's a gap to fill at 374.13, which is still the best level for call options at $374.13. So that's your overall downside analysis. Now, let's discuss the upside potential. So here's the deal. For the bulls to remain in control, and the only hope, in my opinion, for the bulls today um, and for that gap to not fill today would be this. They need to stay above the previous closing price. If they cannot stay above this 380.72 level, the 381 level, then the SPY is going to get broken down. It's going to get crushed. It's going to sell off hard, in my opinion. So the bulls need to hold above the previous closing price. And if they can do that, then they're going to be on track to break to the next level, which would be $383. And if they break above $383 and turn that into support, then they fill the gap. There's a gap to fill above on the SPY. So if the SPY were to go bullish today, this would basically be your best level to be buying puts on, which would be at $386.23 for the gap fake out resistance gap close reversal, right? And then you look to scale out when it drops back to that 384 level zone to 383. So that's my overall analysis. If the bulls can hold previous closing price and react bullish, it goes to 383. If it breaks above 383, 
then it fills the gap at 386.23, right? That's key. See the new gap breakout level towards $383.38. If that reacts as a fake out, then it's going to sell off hard under the previous closing price. If it breaks above that and turns it into support, then it's going to fill the gap at 386.23, which, which is a great micro level for puts. If it does break above that 386.23, then it's going to try to fill the next gap at 389.63, which is the next best level for puts. So that's what I want you to understand. It's going to be determined off of this previous closing price. And remember, if you see that green to red move, this is super bearish. But as long as we are above the previous closing price, the SPY will continue to try to break above 383. If it goes above 383, then it's going to fill that gap towards 386, which would be the next best level for puts. Based off of everything that I'm currently seeing, I am leaning towards super bearish. All I really need is that green to red move, and I will be scaling into puts as close as possible towards that previous closing price. That's my thoughts. That's my analysis. Now I'm going to get ready to trade live with my team within Trader Society. Trader Society is going to be reopening up very, very soon. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay up to date for the announcement.